Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy back again with Clever Files, and today what we're going to be doing is running through an example file recovery with Disk Drill 4. So if you've never used Disk Drill before, you don't know where to start, this is the video for you. So I've got an SD card right here. If I plug it in, you can see that what happens is I can't use it with Windows unless I format it, which essentially means the file system of the drive is corrupted. And as you can see here, if I go into my Windows Explorer, I cannot find the card anywhere. This is a common problem, especially for media professionals and people that work with lots of external drives, is things tend to get corrupted. And, well, the usual solution is to format your drive, which poses an obvious problem because you'll lose everything on the drive if you do that. But with Disk Drill 4, we can recover all the data off the drive so we can still use the drive and we'll save all of our data without formatting. Sounds pretty good to me, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go ahead and open up Disk Drill. And it opens right away to the data recovery panel, as you can see in the top left here. Uh, now, if you're not familiar, I'll just give you a quick rundown of the UI. So in the middle here, we have all the drives that are connected to the computer. So you've got hardware disks, logical volumes, and everything else. On the left here, we have our extra features like our data protection tab, along with all of our recent sessions, which if you've never used Disk Drill before, this will be empty. And then on the right, you'll notice that if I select a drive, it gives you all of the metadata about the drive, along with a button to start the data recovery process itself. So, of course, if you have not plugged in your drive yet, go ahead and do so now. As I said, I'm using an SD card, but this will work with any drive at all. Then once it registers in your PC, it will show up in the list in Disk Drill 4. So go ahead and select it. Now, one thing that I should mention real quick before we move forward is you'll have better luck scanning an entire drive selected from the hardware disks list as opposed to a directory or a logical volume within that drive. Uh, I've made an entire guide post about it that you can go read if you want more information, but it's better to scan an entire drive as opposed to individual logical volumes on that drive, just to let you know. So with our drive selected, go to the right and choose the recovery method. So in the drop down menu, there's lots to choose from. There's quick scan, deep scan, and a few others, but we're gonna leave it on all recovery methods. This will give us the most redundancy as well as the best results. Now finally go ahead and click search for lost data. All right, so during the scan, you'll see a progress bar here along with some icons to let you know how the scan is actually doing. So of course, the amount of time this will take depends on the size of the drive as well as the amount of files that have been lost. And after each scanning method is complete, you'll actually see a report of what has already been found. So you can see here that we've got a bunch of pictures, some videos and things like that, that are already showing up with a little subscript number that actually shows the amount of those particular kinds of files that have been found on the drive. And plus, you can actually review all these files in between each scanning method, which is pretty cool. But we're just going to go ahead and wait for the entire scan to finish. And upon full completion, you'll see a total number of files as well as the size of all those files put together will be displayed on the screen. And at this point, you can either view or recover all the files in the top right here. Uh, I'm going to actually review the items first just so I can show you how to navigate. So we'll just click review items. Now, one thing I should mention real quick is that to know if a file can be recoverable or not, it must be viewable in the preview window. So if I highlight it and you can see that here you can see that you can actually see the preview of the file in the thumbnail window right here. Another way you can do this is actually switching to the thumbnails view, which will give you obviously little thumbnails of each file. And that'll just give you a better idea of which are intact and which are able to be recovered. So there are two ways of navigating all of the files and folders that have been recovered. You have a file structure right in the middle here, which is very similar to a Windows Explorer uh, window. And then on the left here, you also have essentially just a big group of categories. So you have pictures, videos, documents, etc. And these can be browsed individually, like say you lost a bunch of pictures. Well, you don't really want to scan through all the, you know, documents and things that were found that aren't pictures. So you can go through all of your individual photos or videos and all of those different categories on the left here. Additionally, if you know the name of the item that you're looking for, you can use the search bar in the top right to actually search for the name. Now, just keep in mind that if it doesn't come up in the search, that doesn't mean that it wasn't recovered. Sometimes metadata like, you know, names and file sizes can actually be lost in the corruption or recovery process. So if it's not found through a search, don't worry, it could still be there. This is just a way to find it faster if the name does happen to be intact. 
Now you can also filter through the files by the time it was deleted as well as the size. Uh, however, be aware that some files may not adhere to the filter due to, again, loss of metadata in the event of a formatted disk or a similar situation. Uh, but you can go in here and say filter it out like uh, deleted within the last week here, which uh, is just a way to kind of say like, okay, I know the file was deleted within the last seven days. So I can go in here and change that. And that will show me all the files that were deleted within the last seven days. Uh, if that metadata still exists on the drive. So that's pretty cool. All right, now to actually recover the files, you have two options. So you can recover them all with just this button down here, or you can recover specific files. Um, recovering all is very simple. You just press the button at the bottom. If you're going to be recovering a specific file or a group of files, then you just go and find the files you want and then put a check mark next to the ones that you are wanting to recover. But I'm just gonna recover the entire disk just to uh, show you the real power of this here. So I'm just gonna leave everything unchecked and click recover. And it will ask you to choose a save location. So I'm just going to choose my desktop, which is what I typically do just for ease of use and click okay. Okay, now once the recovery process is done, you'll get a confirmation. And if you navigate to your save location, which is my desktop, you'll find a folder. And inside that folder, you have all of your files. And as you can see, they're just as they were presented within disk drill, you can go in and view them just as you would normally in Windows Explorer. And that's it. So now what we can do is we can go back to disk drill and either return to the disk list or press back to review the recovered files again, just in case you missed something. And when you go back to the disk list, you'll actually notice that a new session has been created with the name of your drive and uh, clicking it will actually allow you to continue that session at a later date if you so choose. So that's pretty cool as well. But that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys found this informative and helpful. If you do have more questions or issues, please do not hesitate to reach out to our help desk. We're always trying to improve the software every day as much as we can for you guys. But that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.